good evening so today we will be discussing about alrs volume 2 uh, this, will, this will be the digital publication so before you go ahead uh, it's the same file but um, you should you will get a better understanding if you go and check out the paper publication of asd volume 2 that has been already uploaded uh, in my channel so let's go and check out digital publication alrs volume 2 so I just open the uh, volume 2 volume 2 is basically your time signal stations as well as uh, your times of all the nations that you are going to sail to so this, this will be the main screen that opens up the options are file data updating wizard is for updating your uh, ALRS volume 2 then edit then comes view toolbars these are options that once you click it uh, the sub menu will open for example if i just go and check out chart uh, sorry filter band this one has already gone so i'll just reinsert it you can see this has come out so this is just basically um, uh, your uh, toolbar so i'll prefer uh, to have all my tools bar open next comes options this is how you are going to see pilot daylight twilight night then the units nautical miles or kilometers and the regions all these options are also available uh, under reference so i'll just close this then comes scale that is the scale of your charts then show radar we can show direct and finding stations all this are all these options are basically here i'll go and show you one by one now uh, let's go and find uh, okay after this whatever option i am going to click here i have the same options here also so for example if i want to see my radio beacons radar beacons i'll just click this you can see the radar beacons has come, come up so i will keep everything closed for now then comes the reference this is basically uh, an introduction of aas dgps intro i'll just click it we will get a general idea aas and uh, if you click a station how that information comes up uh, so this is why i will tell you i'll uh, you should you will get a better understanding uh, once you look into the paper publication it's already been uploaded so I am not going to repeat the same thing, then comes uh, DGPS intro, LEPFS, electronic position uh, fixing, general information, Morse code, uh, then comes your MID, maritime identification, this is basically how your um, MMSA number of the ship is uh, registered. For example, my vessel is registered in Panama, so Panama should be somewhere 3564 is my starting digits. Panama, you can see 356. This is how the MMSA of your vessel will be registered. Then RG intro. This is also part of your. radar beacon then comes satellite based uh, <coughs> GPS positioning standard times standard times uh, then comes world time zones this will be a single chart and only for the Europe and North Africa you will have to go and check uh, this one out uh, basically this color code will keep repeating to whichever country uh, that uh, time zone applies for example I will just enlarge it right now I am somewhere here so I will just show you how it will come up uh, time zone Europe right now I am in Israel so Israel will be a violet color it will be local time plus 2 
then comes universal time this is how the universal time are calculated this i am also not familiar with this so after that comes your help this will give you a contents last notification it might be about varma now coming down these are the same icons radar beacons i want to see the list of radar beacons that are available i'll just click it so uh, near me which radar beacon is there there's nothing here for the moment this will be df stations df station will be in canada somewhere I'll just get back to it. Then comes the AA stations. AA stations. For example, at Haifa, this will be the AA station that is available. Then comes DGPS stations that are available. So again, this is the DGPS station. sorry that is not a dgps uh dgps stations this will be a dgps station you can see then comes time signaling stations these are the time signaling stations then comes show object with text on charts okay uh so let me show you df station df station list should come up uh sorry about this i am only having uh, permit valid for area 1 area 2 i am not having the permit you can see uh whichever is light in color that's the one i am having permit for so my vessel is basically trading in european region so there is no permit for me for this area next comes uh deleted objects nothing to show there and this is basically the area which you are going to trade in so if i click europe this will just show me the europe in if i want to see uh, go to a point this is how i can easily go suppose i want to go to 08 degree uh, north and 155 degree east i just have to click this chart is centered the, to this point you can see it already reached to that point now to check the uh, time zone or uh, time of a nation so, uh, to get the local time <coughs> of a point i can either go through windows uh, list directories so nation wise i will be getting the times suppose i am going to israel i am right now at israel so h i <coughs> israel time zone will be minus 2 and uh, if standard offset and if it is daylight saving time it will be minus 3 and which date to which date this uh, applies so this is shown here again uh, if i want to go and check out time of india directly goes to india so this is another way i can find out uh time of india but so this is basically how the 
ALRS Volume 2 works out. And thank you for watching. To update all the digital publications, either you can go to any publication and on top of the screen there will be an option file data updating wizard and obtain uh, directly next update and all these options come up even if you are updating any detailed publication all uh, all the publication will come automatically again you can either update it directly from the data updating wizard started remember my last update was week 5 so I'll just check week 5 so the next update should have been 6 I'll just op uh, click obtain update directly next update from internet next and select everything these are all the publications that I am having on board click next and it will start downloading all my updates so once I mm, get an update everything will be automatically updated and I will be getting a certificate this certificate I can uh, preview it or take a print out I will just click finish and if I click the updating wizard if I preview it my updates have came to week 6 so this is how uh, my detailed publications are updated